So today we're going to look at 1037 Why Now Drive, a stunning new construction located in the Echo Park neighborhood of Los Angeles. This home is three bedroom, three and a half bathroom, a total interior space of 2,500 square feet. And that doesn't even include the rooftop deck. So before we begin, we want to thanks to the realtor Kiara Blackwell for letting us tour the home. You can check her Instagram right here. So the first thing you notice about this house is the yellow door. So you know what they say, the door sets the tone of the house. And this yellow door right here tells you right away, this is a jovial home. It's very inviting, very modern. I mean, how many houses do you know has a yellow door? Personally, I have never seen one until this one. You know, yellow is my favorite color. You know, I like to wear yellow, I like to eat yellow. Uh, I pee yellow and I'm yellow, so let's get inside. Now, first thing I notice is those five small windows. I don't know about you, but I really like this. This is just kind of give this house a very quirky vibe. Second thing you notice is this window. It's a single pine window. Now, do you know what this is called? This is actually called a picture window because it looks like a picture or a painting. And if you look outside, to me, this kind of reminds me of like somewhere in Alabama or uh, Oklahoma. It, it's, it has a very country and very like Midwestern kind of feel to it. So as you enter, you're greeted by the stair and also a bedroom. So currently this room is a stage as an office area. And to be honest, this would be a perfect guest bedroom. But if I don't have gas, I think this is a, a great office space. Like if someone, someone wants to come meet you, they can just go through the front door and meet you right here without ever seeing the rest of your house. So this is a perfect place to meet people who's not really your friend, but you know, you don't want to say, don't come to my house. Now, another thing is every bedroom in this house has its own bathroom. Honestly, this is very generous. Like a lot of times I imagine like if I left the house and I realized I need to piss, I can just come to this. I don't have to go upstairs to take a piss. I just go here. Let's go to the second floor. So on the second floor, there's two more bedrooms. Let's go. So before you even get to the two other bedroom, there's a huge closet space. This is actually for uh, your washer and dryer. All right, huge, huge space. And then let's enter the second bedroom. This one is a lot bigger than that first bedroom downstairs. Uh, you have this view of your neighbor. You can literally have a, a conversation with them, like a bedtime conversation with them through this window. Uh, so if you want to live in this room, you have to be an extrovert or not afraid to be seen. This bedroom is really big. It's a lot bigger than you probably see on camera because this bed is actually huge. It's, it's like a California king size bed. So it kind of makes this room smaller. And you have this huge, this bathroom, you can right away tell this bathroom is also really big. I mean, you have this really huge walk-in. Look at this. This is like an indoor sauna or something. You can sit like three people across. I mean, you guys can just like chill here, have a steamy conversation. Next bedroom, all right? So this bedroom right here. Wow, this is pretty big. This is clearly the master's bedroom, all right? You can already tell right away. Look at this, wow, this is a very, very huge walk-in closet. Very, very huge. But get this, there's a window in the closet. Seriously, a window in the closet. Like, this is just the detail that I love. You know they don't have to put this here. They didn't have to, but they put it here anyway. A very, very oversized bathroom. You got your, your makeup table right here. You know, you can just sit here. You can, this could be a computer desk. If you like to look at yourself, you should just sit here. Use this as a computer space and then do makeup, very fine. Look at this, this is even bigger. Th these bedrooms, they're getting bigger and bigger. You see a pattern here, right? This is bigger than the other one. You can still set three people across though. So that didn't increase, but all the other spaces, this is like, you can just like move around. This is the, what do you call a, uh, pooping and peeing room, right? L look how much space there is just in this space. Like, they could put like a, another toilet right here, a twin toilet, so two people can poo at the same time. I don't know if that makes any sense. All right, now we're gonna enter the main living area of the house. Check out this huge chef's kitchen and quartz countertop. Man, this is just rocking solid. You know, I always like to do this because if you do this, you can pretty much feel 
how solid this house is just by looking at the kitchen counter. Check this out, this compartment at the top, man. So whatever you want to hide from your kids, just put it up here, okay? But now I'm gonna show you what you don't want to hide from your kids. This microwave. I know a lot of you wonder why there's a new trend of putting microwave under the counter. I'll tell you the reason why. In many old houses, the microwave, they're here. Now imagine you have kids, okay? You have like a four-year-old kid that's this tall. They want to microwave some popcorn. Oh, guess what? They can't get to that, okay? Are they gonna climb up here and get it? Or that's just, it's too unsafe. And the best of all, it actually makes this whole space very, very clean, okay? You have no electronics up here. Everything is down here. Microwave, dishwasher, stove, they're all on the same level. Guys, okay, check out this backsplash. Look at that, this, this is kind of like a diamond or something. This is the dining space. Now, I know a lot of you are asking, how do you tell which one is the dining space, which one is the living space? The way I'll tell is where the bathroom is. So there's a half bathroom over here. You definitely want a bathroom where you eat, right? So you can eat and you can go pee. Guys, now I'm gonna show you possibly the most impressive aspect of this house. So come in with me. Oh. <laughs> that was a good recovery. Anyway, see? I don't know why this suit makes me want to dance. If I don't wear a suit, I don't want to dance. But if I have a suit, I just... All right, guys, check this out. This is absolutely mesmerizing. I'm not even gonna say anything, just look at it. This is like the apex or the climax of this house. This is what you call icing on the cake, okay? You know if there's a cake, there's no icing, you don't wanna eat it. But if there's really good icing, you wanna eat the whole cake? To me, this house is like that. It's the most perfect cake. I mean, sorry, the per perfect house. Just look at this living space. Remember I told you there was 2,400 square feet of interior space in this house? But guess what, that doesn't include this. This is almost 700 square feet. You can have your own living room, your own dining room, and then your own uh, love table space, right? Love table, remember there's love chair, love seat. Okay, love seat is for two people. So I call this the love table. So you can have a dinner and then you can watch the Dodgers game. You can actually, you can see a little bit. If someone hits a home run, it gets high enough, you can actually see the ball. In fact, the ball, if they hit a really, good home run, you might even catch it from here. In fact, you can watch the game here and turn off the audio and just hear the audio from the stadium. That's enough. This makes me want to become a Dodgers fan, even though I'm not a baseball fan at all. If I live here, if I see someone on the street with a Dodgers hat, I'm just gonna say, hey, come to my house. You know, I live right next to Dodgers Stadium. Just have a rooftop and just come here and chill with me. You know, have some barbecue, have some cocktail. Seriously, they'd be down. I could get like 20 people up here. Just imagine have your own rooftop deck on the roof of your own house and this is unobstructed absolutely there's nothing behind you before you after you next to you behind you above you below you is there any more words here we have the garage now this is a two car parking garage you can see there's one for the big guys one for the small guy so you could put a f-150 here and here you can put maybe like a mini. Now the best thing about this home is its location and views. You know what they say, location, location, location. Well, for me, the three most important thing is location, view, and location. So this one has got all three. So first, location. It's located in the Echo Park neighborhood of Los Angeles. One of the most centralized and fun neighborhood. Just minutes from downtown. Second, views. This probably has the best 360 view in off Los Angeles. And unlike those homes on the Hollywood Hills, this one is really easy to get to. You're literally only three minutes away from Sunset Boulevard where you can do all your shopping. And third, it's located right next to the Dodger Stadium. You could literally hop over that fence and get to Dodger Stadium. So just for these three things, this home should be worth your investment. Until next time, this is Victor Lee. See you next time.